Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. Here we are for another episode. We've finally got enough money to upgrade to our crabbing boat. So I've got four crew members on board with 40 uh, pots. I think that's going to be enough. Not quite sure. I would like another couple of crew members, but these guys are 2.3% and 2.2, and they are not very good at stamina. So not going to bother with those guys at the moment. Um, if we look at our loans, 4.28 million is what we just loaned. Um, and I had a little bit of extra money to make up to that nearly $5 million mark. So we finally got... This is going to get damaged here. We finally got... Um, a crab boat. Just hopefully I can get away from the dock here without damaging anything. Um, she can go and cook. So we need someone. Pot bait and setting. Uh, pot bait and setting. So you're good at pot bait and setting. Where's the crane? He's not good at the crane. Not bad at the crane. She's terrible at the crane. You can go to the crane. The other guys can sort the crabs, but I think I'm going to have to possibly look at getting some staff from other places. Let's have a look at the map for King Crabs. There's a little bit down here, but there's a, a bloody good patch up here too. Um, through here is probably another good spot. Well, even there is quite good, but I'd like a really long patch. But so that looks pretty good there. So let's. Um, head out of here. If we get straight to there, we can. Alright, it's fast travel to there. It's going to take quite a bit of fuel to get there, but um, she's still cooking. So I don't want her to overcook. There we go. So these two guys, uh, what are you going to do? You're sh terrible at operating the crane. So are you. So are you. He's probably the best crane guy, so he can be the crane guy. Um, she's good at sorting. He's potting the bait. So he can be the bait guy, he can be the crane guy, and these four can be the, the crab sorters. Alright, so it's a bit rough out today too. The boat's actually got turned a fair bit then. So I can line those guys up how I want them to be um, down the bottom here. I remember which one goes where. There's going to be heaps of crab over there too, I think. I'll take a look at this map. It should expand a fair bit. Go back through to there. Do what we usually do just to unlock a fair amount of this map. Right near the the top where the ice is, so let's go I'm gonna go here I'm gonna set another marker to like, uh, let's go there what I want to do is go um, so you can operate the crane Oop, and that can drop off, you can pop bait and setting once I drop one off Boat is getting turned something shocking. Why is it getting turned so bad? God, this is really strange. I need to turn the boat back around and head the way that we want to be heading. Let's go full throttle forward now. Come on, boat. Turn the right way. Oh, I don't want to go too fast. But we sort of want to head on that right, that same heading, but it's going to be quite hard because I think the weather's. It's only 19.5 k's, but. Either way we're heading certainly isn't going to help. So I, want, I don't want to go too quick because you want to make sure we drop the, the crab pots off should be 
within 50 meters, around about 50 meters away from each other. So he'll drop that off once it drops outside that 50 meter radius. Which should give this guy enough time to get another pot, dump it down, bait it, and then drop it off. So as soon as that disappears, you should be ready to go, hopefully, if we're not going too fast. we go in so I want to try and keep them all all together I did put 40 pots on the boat um, thinking that should be enough hopefully um, to get a big long line put in 2.4 kilometers of crab pots so the first few aren't gonna be that great but these ones should be pretty good so let's pump our speed up just that little bit not too much though, because I don't want to have them too far apart, but I don't want to have them too close together too, I suppose. So these other guys can just rest, not really much else they can do. Um, and when we head back up to you get Tufford, Tujford, whatever you want to call it, um, we'll see if we can't get another couple of crew members to help sort the crabs. I just, um, I don't want to pay them too much. I don't think we can actually look at our crew. Um, it's not even king crab season yet. We can see our last lot of sales. 800,000, 586, 733, 733. So pretty good. We can get 50 tons worth of king crab on board. So we'll see how we go with these 40 pots. Bit of a look around. We still don't even have our, our captain's vest on. We got the searchlight on. No, we don't. We must have... That light there is terrible. I don't even know what it is. It's those lights, but... A little bit too much. So I did change the name of the boat to Got Crabs. That's what we're going to be getting. Alright, so hopefully so we can spread these guys out a little bit. Um, there's another decent spot here. This is going to be a pretty big spot, I think, but not... Not um, really dark yellow, which is what we want, but should be more than enough, I think. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll time lapse a little bit of this. And we'll come back when we're ready to head to town, um, and then come back and start grabbing some of these pots. So we'll be back very, very soon.
Right anyway, guys, well, we're back. So we've put in 38 pots so far. Two more to go. And then um, we'll head back to Tajford, I think it's called. I always forget what it's bloody called. And um, try and get a couple more people, and then we'll come back. You can see it's not quite a straight line like I'd planned. Um, it's quite a, quite a bit of swell out here today, so certainly not helping us throw the pots in in a straight line but it'll be fine hopefully it won't be too hard to to pick them up you can see we've probably gone past the majority of um the yellow bit here but it shouldn't be too bad i hope i will right, we'll set plot of course back to tojford once we get or tuffered whatever it may be once we get this one put in we'll get these guys resting or fast travel we'll come back out it's gonna be so I'll give that two hours to get from there to there whatever whatever else it's gonna be we'll have to have a look at all right so let's go one about four hours maybe it's obviously something in our way here this post, let's move this out. There we go. So it's going to be about four hours to get back. So that's ten. So if we rest, maybe eight hours. I think we want to sort of get there right when it turns blue. So that's ten hours. Let's go, let's rest seven hours. We'll see how we go. So we've got two people to hire. Um, I mean, they're not great, but they'll do. We need them. Um, do I say eight hours? I've forgotten now. So it's seven and a half. Maybe about eleven and a half time we get back let's go six hours Oop, six hours rest um, well, let's get out of here without hitting the dock hopefully um, okay so this guy's gonna be is that right baiting and setting crane yeah crane baiting and setting and these guys can be the ones that are actually sorting the crabs so hopefully we can pick them up put them straight back down so empty pot will be back on deck back on the table um, fingers crossed we can work that out continue to swing ourselves around and then we can work lights okay they the running lights, they might be the ones that were in our face, which were annoying. Anyway, let's see if we can get down here as quick as possible. I'll go like there and then here somewhere. Let's have a look. 16, 17. Should be like 18 hours. Come on. I don't mind backwards and forwards a little bit. Oh, it's gonna be so close now. Should be 18 and a half hours. Next time. Pretty close. Let's head towards it and we'll, um, see if we can pick it up. I think we're going to have some dramas here because the bloody swell is going to be shocking. Then we might just stack the pots back and see how we go. So I don't think you're going to have to actually do anything this guy. Um, definitely want the crane guy. 
definitely want these guys all out of your sorting crabs. Let's see how we go, hopefully. So it's still still not blue though. Oh, come on. There we go. I knew the minute I turned away, it'll turn blue. How these guys go, they're probably really tired now. No, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, start heading forward. Pick up a few of these pots and see how we go. It's going to be a little while before we get to a decent, a decent pot, but we'll see. We might need to move down into here or down into here or something. start to slow down. It's going to take a little bit to slow the boat right down I think. Especially with the swell the way it is. There we go, it's our first one. Slow ourselves right down. Don't want to miss any of these crab pots if we can avoid it. Right, so there's not as much crab on the on the deck here, so it's 50,000 kilos we're looking for. Um, we've got 40 pots now, so 1,000 kilos per pot would be awesome, but I don't think we're going to get that. We're lucky to get 500 kilos, I think. Well, 393 is not bad, I suppose. Right, start to head towards that next pot. But we're definitely going to have to bump up the um, the hold capacity eventually. So we might do um, for the next lot that we do, we might do like a run of twenty. I say like a run of twenty and a run of twenty or something like that, and space them apart a little bit more. I don't know, you guys let me know what the best way to do it is. I'm not quite sure, I'm still sort of new to the whole uh, crabbing side of things. When the crabbing DLC first came out, I did play it a little bit, but I, some of you guys that have seen that previous series, I was a little bit frustrated with it, to be honest. Because we couldn't get anybody to help do any of this, we had to run down and do it all ourselves. And it was painfully slow. Alright, 13, 13, 16, 16, 16, so they're working well together. Could be a little bit better, but we've got 685 kilos of crab on board at the moment. Another quick screenshot of these guys sorting the crab. So we could repot these and chuck them straight back in. 308, so not the best spot. I think we need to wait a little bit more. Yeah, so once we get to like pot 10 or something, probably will be a little bit better. It's only pot number 4. We have half a hole full. I'll be pretty happy, I think. So I can't tell how full these pots are. Sort of massive amount of crab on the table, but it's not bad either, I suppose. And they're quite um quite jammed together. So what we might do is we might go through to say pot number ten. Then I'll time lapse a little bit more and um, sort of come back when we when we're finished and headed back to back to town again. So it seems about the same as last time. Not of a massive amount, but not bad either, I suppose. It's got a good reach too, which is good. Don't have to get right next to the boys. 
which is certainly going to help us. Have to slow right down here. Otherwise, we're going to go flying past it. These waves certainly aren't helping us. Well, I should still be able to pick it up from there. So that's number five. We're picking up. We've we'll picked up. So this will be number six. Oh god, sorry, up 407, not bad. Alright, let's just go forward nice and slow. You can see we're sort of all over the shop here. With how bad the wind is, 25.2, 13, 28. So it's going to be windy for a few days, so... There's really not much we can do. So 1.6 tons of king crab on board. So it's going to be money in the bank eventually. Hopefully these guys just continue to get uh, better and better. This iron uh, is terrible as far as stamina goes. Wow, that is going to be hard to pick up those. They're really going to be hard. It's like a weird sort of line going on there. But we got pushed all over the place. Alright, come on guys, two more to go. One more to go. 679, so that's not bad. So I want to try and move forward. I think we should still be able to pick this one up, but I want to head forward a little bit and then swing. Swing that rear end of the boat at the last second sort of thing. So we've got 2.3 tons at the moment. Uh, what's that? Pot number seven. Let's run up to number eight at the moment. Then this, the rest of this is going to be a little bit difficult, as I said. So you guys will need to let me know too if you like the idea of doing time lapse and that sort of stuff, because this is quite time consuming, as you guys probably already know. swing, I probably left it a little bit too late to swing the rear end. So probably going to run over the boy. 454, there we go, we got it. Where's the next one? I think it's just there, so we're going to have to come backwards, I think. See if we can get it on the other side of the boat. So we've got nearly 3,000 kilos. There we go. So I'll pick up two more of these pots and then we'll um, do a bit of a time lapse I think. God, it's for such a big boat it's, it is hard to control which is what I sort of knew it was going to be anyway but it's these waves certainly aren't aren't helping us any at all. We're going to get pushed over the buoy again in a minute. I'll try and turn now. Just going to stuff us up for these other ones, but... 5.35. This is where I need the, um, the old side thrusters. I'm going to try and... get every rent over there somehow. Backwards a bit, bit of left hand down. The front of the boat swinging around a little bit. Like that, that should be good. Or oh, maybe not, not enough. Right, let's go full steam ahead. Now if we turn right, fingers crossed, we can get over there, but these guys are going to end up spewing everywhere I think, for sure. Alright, come on, let's get close, nice and close. Should be just about close enough I think. Uh, there's 
are going to get in there. I think it might just. Rear end swings. There we go, perfect. Alright, number 10. So let's um, throw in a bit of a time lapse here. We'll come back when we're on our last pot.
Alright anyway guys, welcome back. Lucky last pot. Last few pots have been pretty bad, only a couple hundred kilos in each, but we should have close to 21,000 kilos, 21 tons of kingfish on board. Kingfish. King crab on board. Um, if you watched through the time lapse, you would have noticed that I didn't actually get out of my captain's chair and um, go down and help the guys. They um, certainly needed a little bit of help, so can't complain, need to get it done, so um, let's get all these guys back out of here um, and resting up, eating some food, oh, we want to head, not crossing land, head back to Tajford, what are you on about? What land are you talking about? There, I don't know. Alright, let's head to bed here. Let's check. So she should still be cooking. Skip through again. She probably hasn't really cooked much since then. No, not much at all. Um, how's everyone going for resting? Resting pretty well. You can go there. You can. I think you can come out of cooking for a little bit. We'll swing ourselves around and dock and then we'll sell the crab we have and see what happens. So I think certainly having 40 pots in the water at once was just too much. They went from blue to green um, sort of halfway through that string. So I'm thinking drop down 20 at a time, come back, but come back to here, rest four hours, go drop out another 20 or something like that. And um, see, okay, there we go. Wow, 5.2 million, which didn't get quite that much. Uh, put reputation, we got a little bit more. 332,000 paying some of these guys. 76,000, wow. We really need to look at um, eventually getting rid of some of these people. Uh, Ackerford, while watching. Nope, all good. Because they're so. Where are they? Um, on board. 2.2% well, is quite high. Um, I'll be happy with like 1, 1.2%, 1 1.3%, 1 but these other guys are a little bit higher. If we can get people with decent stamina at a lower rate, I'd rather get rid of those other guys. I mean, we could just about pay off our loan, you know, with one lot of crab, and that was only half a boat. So we'll look at the sales. 3.2 million for the bigger crab. 3,664 crabs above 3.2 kilos. So that's pretty good. You know, can't complain at all. 20,600 kilos. Um, one female king crab, which, or well, 15 actually. I did throw one in, so that's probably from me. So that cost us a little bit of money. Um, throw them a little bit extra. So not too bad. Like, can't complain at all. That's. It's pretty good money, 41,000 for that. I'm not going to repair the hole because we can do that ourselves. Um, 40 pots, 20 at a time, should be pretty good. So, right here, guys. If you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the time lapse. If you want to see a bit more of that, or maybe just cutting here and there, um, you guys let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.